Hey nerds, I'm CJ. I'm CJ. And today we're covering CompTIA's A plus 1102 exam, domain 4.4, which is all about common safety procedures. So this is everything from ESD mats and straps to anti-static bags and personal safety when working with IT equipment. All right, let's jump right in. Question one, when working with sensitive computer components, what is the primary purpose of using an electrostatic discharge or ESD strap? Is it A, to prevent damage to components from overheating, B, protect the components from physical damage, C, ground the technician to prevent electrical shock, or D, prevent electrostatic discharge from damaging the components? That would be D. D is correct. All right, question two. What is the purpose of an ESD mat when working on computer components? Is it A, provide a soft surface for compute component placement? B, absorb excess heat from components? C, protect the components from physical damage? Or D, ground the technician and prevent electrostatic mm -hmm. discharge? A. Yeah, so the primary purpose is that it's a soft surface that'll prevent you know components from damage. <clears throat> Uh, when you're placing them and working them and taking them apart. Um, however, you know, most ESD mats uh, have a variety of features built into them now. Like a lot of them have places for you to plug in your ESD strap directly into the mat and things of that nature. Um, so kind of all of these things, but the primary purpose is that soft uh, rubber material, right? So that you don't damage the components when you're working in them. Question three, which of the following is an essential safety practice when handling power cables or electrical equipment? A, use gloves to prevent electric shocks. B, disconnect the equipment from the power source before handling. C, always handle power cables with wet hands to improve connect conductivity. Or D, plug and unplug equipment using excessive force. It's not C, it, it is B. <laughs> Yeah, where's our where's our legal disclaimer? Uh, yeah. Do not do C, right? Do not do C. Uh, definitely never do C. Uh, B is correct, right? Make sure you unplug everything, um, you know, uh, before you work with any sort of power components, right? <laughs> Question four: uh, What should be done to ensure proper component handling and storage? A. Store components in sealed plastic bags. B, stack components on top of each other to save space. C, keep components exposed to direct sunlight to prevent moisture buildup. Or D, store components in a dry, temperature-controlled environment. I would have to go with D. D is correct, right? Plastic bags are not equivalent to ESD bags, right? Um, but if you have ESD bags, definitely a, a good thing to keep them in. All right, question five, last one. Which safety equipment is recommended when working in an environment with potential airborne hazards such as dust or chemical particles? Is it A, safety glo gloves, B, safety goggles, C, ESD strap, or D, anti-static bag? It would be B, safety goggles. B, safety goggles, right? Gotta protect your eyes, all right? Uh, so that wraps up this domain. Thanks, nerds, for sticking around, and best of luck on your exams, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.